In response to his indictment, the former president has also been defending himself on social media. Abby Larico joining us now to verify his claims. Abby, about the documents in question. Good morning. Hey, ladies, good morning. Court records show 11 sets of classified records seized from Mar-a-Lago. But on his social media platform, Truth Social, following that August search, former President Trump claimed they were all declassified. That has had several Verify viewers asking, can the president declassify documents? Here's a look at our sources, which conclude a president does have the authority to declassify documents while in office, but it isn't a formal process. The three levels of classification in the U.S. government are confidential, secret, and top secret. The level is based on how damaging to national security a document's release would be, according to our experts. According to the National Archives, a select group of government officials have classification authority, including the president, vice president, and agency heads. A sitting U.S. president has wide-ranging authority to classify and declassify certain documents, but a former president does not. To classify a document, a sitting president has to, quote, make a plausible argument that it is related to national security, according to national security expert Cal McClanahan. But he says there isn't the same requirement for declassifying documents. He doesn't have to give any reason for declassifying it. He can just say, I decide that this should be declassified. But historian Richard Emmerman says generally, presidents consult all departments and agencies with an interest in a classified document. They make their assessments on whether or not there's national security reason to keep a document classified. And then the president makes the ultimate decision. And remember, when we're talking about the documents the FBI reports finding at Mar-a-Lago, even if they were declassified, as Mr. Trump claims, there are other federal laws that bar a former president from taking government documents, regardless of their classification status. Annie? Thanks for breaking that down, Abby.